couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video I'm going to show you the one expert guitar chord trick that I believe no one had ever taken the time to show you. The same chord shape, exactly the same chord shape, moving around the neck. How is that possible? Because if you use it in a smart way, you can create real magic. And I'm going to give you different examples in this lesson um, for different colors, different expressions, simple sounding uh, chords and weird sounding chords and complex sounding chords. It's going to be interesting. So let's start with the simplest one, the E major chord. And just play strings 5, 4, and 3, okay? The ones you're uh, putting your fingers on. So you can vibrate it if you like. Okay? And take this and take the shape to strings 6, 5, and 4 and play that. Now you get two different expressions and you can move it around the neck. Okay, so just start noodling around and remember, rhythm is king here. Find an interesting rhythm, you get an interesting expression. way more often than you think. Okay. Okay. Different okay. different combinations of the same chord shape. all sorts of different roots around the neck only using that shape. Some ideas would be good, some ideas would be less interesting, but you'll just decide what you want to keep. The second example is to take the A7 shape, okay, but not with A7. Um, you play the, a, the open A string with the A7 shape, meaning, let's say, 7, 5, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay? And you start moving that around on strings 2, 3, and 4, and you use the 5th string as your pedal note. Okay? And you start getting used to that sound, and just playing chromatically here. different combinations and it's interesting now you can start getting crazy if if you really want to but get acquainted with the chord sound first interesting things can come out of these uh, these exercises. It doesn't have to sound good at first, you just have to find a few uh, focal points. Okay, see? And you can find your own way of expression, your own style, uh, to fit these chords into some sort of framework that creates a musical landscape. Um, you just have to get acquainted with that sound. Now, the third, um, the third idea here is to take um, a weird chord and move that around using another open string, the open E string, for example. Now, you can take this chord. This chord and move it around. It's zero, three, two, five on strings one to four. You can 
find its own inner logic. See? I think it's a little bit out of tune. Right? And as you saw, it made sense. Uh, there were a few instances where it made sense. Now the fourth example, the last one I'm gonna give you in this lesson is to try a bar, just a bar. And try different um, string combinations using just a bar. This might prove to be the most interesting experiment of all. I'm not sure if I can come up with a good example now, but if you play strings one, two, three, and six, you get a minor chord. If you play strings one, two, three, and five, you get a sort of a ninth chord. If you play uh, strings two, three, four, and five, you get a really dense uh, nine sus four kind of sound, nine eleven sort of sound. And if you play strings uh, two, three, four, and six, you get a minor seven chord. So if you change your string sets um, every movement, you get something that can be really, really rich. Again, I'm not sure if I can get a good example out right now, but I'll try. Um, the idea is to change the, the bass notes and keep the same string sets, and then change string sets while keeping the same bass string. Um, for example. Okay, see, it was just a bar moving around, but it wasn't. That sounds a bit sinister. It sounds like uh, kind of a Phantom of the Opera thing. Right? But we're not going for that. We're trying to create different chords from the same shape. Right? It's a moving bar. That's all it is. But by changing the string sets, you can create interesting sounds. Right? It doesn't have to be chromatic. Two frets, okay, three frets, four frets, okay. and other different ideas. Uh, for example, you can okay, add to the same note. Two on the E string is seven on the B string, so okay. use the same note but a different chord. Um, or the other way around. And of course you can play strings three, four, five, and six. Okay, that gives you that sinister dark jazz chord. Okay. And as you can see, you don't have to play block chords. You can play anything you like. You can arpeggiate. Okay. You can play the bass and then the chord or the other way around. Okay. And then try to go crazy and mix it all together. And see what you can come up with. Um, so I'll leave you to your experimentation and I'll see you in the next lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Go enjoy your experimentation. Bye for now.